Gotham Knights, one of the most anticipated games of 2022, is approaching us in one month's time. Today we're going to talk about the pros and cons, reasons you should be excited, and maybe some reasons you should be a little worried about the final product of Gotham Knight when it comes out October 21st. Let's talk about it. What is going on guys, Jim here with a video today. Before we get started today's video guys, please know that I am not comparing this 110% to the Arkham series, which is not the same universe as Gotham Knights. Arkham City, Asylum, Knight, and Origins have nothing to do with this game. Suicide Squad, which comes out next year, pretty much has a more continuation of Arkham Knight. But today, Gotham Knights is really showing itself in good ways and bad ways. I'm going to start with the good ways. First, I'm going to start talking about what this game is and when it comes out. It comes out October 21st of this year, which is in one month. It is only for next-gen consoles. There are many editions ranging from $60 to $300, so we'll talk about that in a different video. Reason number one you should be excited for Gotham Knights is the villains are on point so far for this game. What I mean by that is if you are a Batman fan or if you're a DC fan, because I know Batman's not in the game, we all know that the biggest addition to any kind of Batman universe is the villains. The villains are are so dynamic. You have the Riddler, Joker, Two-Face, you got Penguin, you even got uh, uh, very odd ones like Rupert Thorne, which is a very goofy guy, but that's besides the point. Villains are, so far confirmed, we have Mr. Freeze, Penguin, we have Harley Quinn, and we also have Clayface. We also have the Court of Owls, which look to be the mastermind behind this whole game and why they are targeting the uh, sidekicks of a uh, Red Hood, Batgirl, Nightwing, and Robin. I really think that if the villains continue to be like this, we could see some really cool villains added to this game. I will be making a separate video on villains that could really well be in this game at the final product, so stay tuned to that as well. I really love what they've done with the villains so far in this game, and I cannot wait to continue to see stuff. Hopefully, it doesn't spoil too much, because I really want to play this game. Reason number two you should be excited for Gotham Knights is it is a next-gen experience only. So if you are on Xbox One or PS4, you're pretty much going to be missing out on Gotham Knights because this is only on the new hardware. It is on PC, I'm pretty sure. The fidelity from the graphics to the frame rate to even maybe ray tracing. The f this game looks to be a masterpiece in that sense of way because it's a new gen in mind. There could possibly be issues, but we don't know yet. But let's talk about the positives here. Reason number three you should be excited is this story around the Court of Owls seems very, very interesting and very close to the likes of Kingdom Hearts 2 and games like that. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because it has a sort of Organization 13 style villains called the Court of Owls. Uh, very, 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 very behind the scenes villains in the, the Batman universe. And uh, this is a very interesting one. Could someone be pulling the strings of the Court of Owls? Could they actually be in charge? Could the Court of Owls be good? We don't know any of this because this story is very mysterious and I cannot wait to dive further into the story when I actually play this game in October. I've been making content on it. It's the best bet for that. Gotham Knights is shaping up to be a very good game, but let's talk about some of the cons that I am really hoping get fixed before the game comes out. Reason you shouldn't be a little worried, number one. One of the biggest problems with Gotham Knights right now is its combat. The combat is a staple when it comes to the Arkham series. The combat is very, very big and very fluid and it's very perfect in a sense of way when it comes to a action game. This game, however, is so very controversial when it comes to the combat. The combat doesn't have any flow to it, it looks like, but sometimes it does. The combat does not look like an Arkham series game. It's very hard to distinguish what kind of game this is like. I'm not, I hope it's not like the Avengers. We don't want that. We'll talk about that a little later. But this game's combat, as of right now, it looks to be very different. And I don't know if it's going to bother Arkham fans or maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Let me know in the comment section if you think the combat looks a little weird and like maybe it's not as fl uh, fluid as the Arkham series. Combat could either maybe uh, surprise me and be like the Arkham series or the combat could really very well fall into the Avengers trap and be like that. Reason number two I'm very very worried maybe you should be a little worried about this game is the combo meter is gone. Now if you're not into the combat stuff the stealth stuff is great, don't get me wrong, it was great. If you're not into the combat stuff, you're not into doing the combo, seeing what you can get, the high score, then this is not really going to bother you. But if you are an Arkham enthusiast and you really like the combat and you like 
bouncing between enemies times 50 times 60 trying to get what you can get it looks to be absent as you see on the screen here there is no combo meter a few times we haven't seen the combo meter there could be three scenarios to this one that they want to be different and not be like the arkham series number two it could be some sort of upgrade that you need to unlock which is like kingdom hearts with kind of like the um scan mode we see the health bar and number three it just very well went, very well could be a paid dlc or free update maybe who knows it's very worrisome though number three the biggest and really bothersome reason for this game coming into uh for me and probably for a lot of people is there is no challenge rooms now keep in mind it is extremely early to tell you have what a month left we really really could very well see what is in store for the challenge rooms but there's no combo meter so that makes me believe that there may not even be a challenge room there might be a predator mode where you're like doing stealth stuff around the uh the room trying to take out enemies in a certain way that would be great we need something we need some sort of depth the arkham games are amazing and this very well should follow the footsteps of that but no combo meter no challenge rooms could very well be a disaster for this game if that's what you're looking for uh, the challenge rooms really had me worried because there's literally I must. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you worried for this game or more excited for this game? I'm still very, 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 I could say very 50 times excited for this game because I love the villains of Batman. I love Batman uh, universe itself. I love the Gotham style of the game. Now, keep in mind the Arkham games like most likely are going to be more towards the Rocksteady game, Suicide Squad. But since Warner Brothers made this game, if Arkham Origins was from Warner Brothers and so is this game, so maybe this could be one of those under-radar games like Arkham Origins. But there is that chance it could fail and fall flat to the ground like the Avengers did. I know it's getting fixed, but that's, that, that's just saying. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for Gotham Knights or worried. Stay tuned for more videos of Gotham Knights. Stay tuned for other video game videos and more top 10 videos. Or a, lot, a lot of stuff in store. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys.